Hello! In this video, I will be looking at the brand new missions added to the nightclub business as part of the Criminal Enterprises DLC. To start, we're going to be looking at the brand new type of mission added, which is the Nightclub Goods Sourcing Missions. You start these missions by calling up Johan on your phone. When you call up Johan, you only have one option, and that is to request a nightclub's goods, which starts the mission, but you can also view your current stock level in a percentage and the current stock value. When you start a nightclub goods sourcing mission, there are two different types of missions that the game will give you. The first one here, we have to steal this truck and then deliver it to our nightclub, and the second one is a tugboat one. For this mission, I highly recommend approaching the truck in a vehicle that you can shoot drive-by weapons out of to take out the driver and the passenger and actually get it to pull over. After you do that, uh, there will be NPCs that spawn after you, and these are the new NPCs, which if you guys have not encountered them, are just a little bit more aggressive. And by aggressive, I mean they're a little bit faster, they shoot more frequently, and uh, they will do things such as ram into you. When you're driving this truck though, as long as you keep the enemy NPCs behind you, they aren't that big of a threat. They still can ram the back of your truck so hard that they'll throw you off the road and make you face them. But if you keep good enough speed, you can keep them right behind you. And when they're behind you, they can't hit you and you're fine. You will get a little bit of money, some RP, and of course the goods when you complete this mission. The tugboat mission is the more difficult one of the bunch and it has you go and steal the cargo which you can carry on your person so I can even bring this back in my Mark II actually on the tugboat like right where I'm looking at but these NPCs are a little bit stronger than your typical NPC so I definitely recommend taking them out first. After you take care of all the enemy NPCs head over to the tugboat and simply collect the weapons and then bring them back to your nightclub while enemies chase you there. Do be careful though if you don't have a vehicle like the Mark II that you can actually park on the tugboat because there will be enemy NPCs chasing you on the way back to your nightclub. These missions will give you different types of goods to deliver and the goods go straight into your basement. You get a little bit of money and RP as well. Next up I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the new club management missions. These two new club management missions were added to the current pool of nightclub management missions. So to get them you have to get a little bit lucky when you are requesting a nightclub management mission as usual. You've always been able to use the nightclub computer to start club management missions, but with the Criminal Enterprises DLC, they added an additional way to start them by calling up Tony directly and requesting club management from him. On this same menu, you can also see your current nightclub popularity as a percentage. The first new club management mission that was added is having us recover incriminating photographs. To start this mission, we're going to be breaking into an apartment. When we're inside, there is a camera, it does move. So we gotta locate this laptop and upload the virus. You just gotta time the camera. The camera moves very slowly. You just want it to be moving away when you get to the laptop. The camera won't catch you when you're actually at the laptop. So you have unlimited time for that. You just gotta watch out when it's actually looking at the door when you're coming and leaving. After you're done uploading the virus, we gotta go over to the deal and interrupt it. After we've interrupted the deal, we gotta go chase down the paparazzi and take them out. They do move pretty fast, so I would definitely recommend bringing a Mark II if you have one. And then all you gotta do is grab the little camera here, not get ran over by cars in the process. And then we're gonna have to lose the cops. And then lastly, we're gonna be bringing the camera back to our nightclub's garage. This mission gives us a little bit of RP and of course popularity. I had four bars, exactly 80% when we started, and we got all the way up to full. So this mission gives us 20% popularity. I redid this mission a couple times and found out that if you get to the deal fast enough, you can actually catch the paparazzi before they get on their bike so you don't even have to chase them. So if you can, definitely do that. The second new nightclub management mission is eliminating the drug operation. Now something special about this mission is the dealers here actually cannot be locked onto. So as you see, I'm in a Mark II oppressor. My missiles do not lock. So I do not recommend the Mark II unless you know how to free aim it. There's three dealers scattered around the map here. And after we take them all out, Tony will update us on the location of their base of operations. To locate the drug operation, I'm just gonna fly around and wait till the enemies get uh, triggered like at me flying, so they'll show up as red dots, there they are. We can use this information to locate the door, but first I definitely recommend taking out these NPCs. 
even if you do have to free aim, because there are a lot of them. Make sure you have a weapon equipped before you go inside, because there will be enemies. And do be very careful when you're getting in here, because they are waiting. They are big time waiting for you. So be very, very careful. When you do get down here, though, all you gotta do is place some explosives, three total, around this place, and then leave. After you leave, detonate bomb will be added to your contacts. Pull open your phone, select the detonate bomb and call it, and then lose the cops once they get onto you. Somehow I did it so fast I got the mission passed before losing the cops, but they give you that two star, you're supposed to lose it, then pass the mission, but I guess if you leave the area really quick before the cops get on you, you can mission pass without losing them, so little tip there. After you're done completing that mission, you get a little bit of RP, and you get 20% or one bar of popularity, just like the other new mission. That mission can also be done very fast, as you guys just saw there. That took like maybe three minutes total for me to do, which makes it probably the best popularity mission in the game currently. Next up, I'm gonna be looking at the new random events that happen inside of your club. For these missions to have the chance to spawn in, you will need to be inside of your nightclub, and when they happen, Marcel will text you. After receiving the text, you need to locate either the troublemaker or VIP, depending on the mission, and uh, go up to them and either eject them or escort them. So as you can see here, we're tossing this guy out. For the Troublemaker ones, all you gotta do is escort them out, and you're good. You get a little bit of money, a little bit of RP, and most importantly, some club popularity. These random event nightclub missions happen once per in-game day, which is every 48 in real life minutes. And we can see here we have a VIP one, which actually doesn't require me just tossing them out, and will actually have me get into a vehicle and take them somewhere. When you do the VIP missions, you gotta watch your speed a little bit, make sure you don't crash. There is a bar in the bottom right to uh, track how spooked they are. As long as you don't let that fill, you're fine. When the mission finishes, you'll get a little bit of money, a little bit of RP, and your nightclub popularity will increase. And lastly, there is a new nightclub service available by calling Tony, and that is the nightclub limo. You have two options here, either the Patriot Stretch or the Shafter V12. When you request a nightclub limo, it spawns nearby and can be called on top of your personal vehicle, which is very nice. And the cool thing about it is, if you choose the Shafter V12, you actually have access to an explosive resistant vehicle. As we can see here, we can throw a sticky bomb, blow it up right on top of myself. We're safe. We can even, once we recover here, <laughs> we, we can even do that again. Go ahead, explode another sticky bomb right on myself still alive car is still intact but unfortunately after that uh three and you're out but it does survive too which is very impressive thank you guys so much for watching peace